Hi, Pastor Charlie here from New Hope Lutheran Church. Welcome to Pastor Charlie's Toolbox. This being the planting season, today I want to talk about planting. And it's a little later planting here in the North Country, but we're in the process of moving our potted plants that we started growing in the house and, and moving them, transferring them into the garden. And what I have here are two plants, and I noticed something very interesting about them. One of these plants, and these were planted on the same day and using the same batch of seeds, this plant is coming along nicely, and that plant, yeah, it's there, but it's not coming along as nicely as this one. We might wonder what that is. Why is that? You know, we used the same soil. We gave them the same amount of water. So what's the difference? Why is one doing better than another one? Well, the difference is that this one was up right tight to the window, as you can see from the way it's leaning towards where the light was coming from. And this one, this one was back just a little bit further back. Wasn't right up close. And that has made a huge difference in the size of these plants. Now our lesson for today from Mark 4, 26 to 34, it's a lesson that talks about planting seeds and how just like in the kingdom of God, seeds have the ability to grow all by themselves once they are planted. People come to faith because seeds were planted. Someone gave them the idea of what God and God's love is like and how beneficial it can be to our lives. But that's not the only thing. There is more, as we can see from these two plants I have here. Something important when it comes to seedlings is to make sure that they have enough light. And that's why it's important for us not just to go about planting seeds of faith in people, although that's very important as well, but it's also important to shine the light of God on people's lives. How do we do that? Well, we are to make our lives, our entire lives, ones that are filled with love and justice and caring for others and showing others that. And in the process of doing that, through us, people will see the light of God in their lives and not just begin to grow, but actually flourish. Be a light to others and help their faith flourish.